Hi guys, welcome to day 19. Man, we are scooting right through this thing. Um, so this morning I got up and uh, fired up my computer and I had a few messages on Facebook and on Instagram. Dude, what happened? You didn't do a video yesterday. What happened? You're slack and you fell down. <laughs> You're right. I did not do a video yesterday, and I apologize for that, but here is why, and that's what I want to talk to you guys about today. Yesterday, I did a clinic at Sam Ash Music in La Puente, and it went great. It was a Monday night, um, and I had about 50 people in attendance, and it was just, it was fantastic. Uh, it was received well. People enjoyed it. Um, so if you're watching this and you were at my clinic last night, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate you being there. Um, but that's uh, kind of why I didn't do the video yesterday. I was just slammed all day getting ready for this thing, and I just didn't have time to do it, if you want to know the truth. But that's what I want to talk about today, is to some of the young drummers out there who want to get involved in education or who are involved in education, and they want to start doing clinics and taking their message out to the masses. Um, I think it's a great thing. I think for young drummers, it's a fantastic way to pick up drum students and to pick up new clients. Um, what ends up happening, though, sometimes I've watched some guys who are great players, like really, really, really good players, and really good educators. When they go to do a clinic, they get up in a room full of you know, 50, 70, 100 people sometimes, and they realize, wow, I'm not just sitting in a room with one drum student anymore. Uh, you know, and they, they kind of freeze up. So this is the, these are some of my tips for some of you people who uh, out there who would like to get involved in doing clinics. So first of all, well, my backstory. Let me start with that. When I was a young kid, um, my mom had me enrolled in some religious classes, and um, when I was a kid. Um, I had to do public speaking in these religious classes. Now what they would do is you would have to prepare for this your, to, to do your, your speech or your talk, and then you would get up there and you would do it, and then as soon as you were done, they had a little checklist, and they would tell you what it is you did right or what it is that you did wrong. And as a kid, I hated this, because I was thinking to myself, my gosh, I do all this work, and then I go up there and I give my speech, and then they tear me apart, <laughs> you know? But at the time, again, I didn't get it. I was, I was too young. I didn't understand that they were really helping me to be a good public speaker. Now, I don't know if I'm the greatest public speaker in the world, but I'm pretty good at it. Um, and, and a lot of people are terrified to speak in public. It's, it's one of the greatest fears out there. A lot of people are just terrified to speak in public. So, if you wanna be a drum clinician, and you got your chops together, and you've been practicing, and you've been working really hard on teaching and playing and doing all this stuff, that's great, but be prepared to speak in public. So, my suggestions would be this. First of all, uh, I'm, not, I'm not telling anybody to seek out religious classes unless that's what you want to do, but seek out how to speak in public. If you're still in high school, get involved in a speech class. If you're in, in a college, or, or, or even if you're, if you're not in school at all, Seek a community college and see if somebody offers a public speaking course, right? They're out there. Learn how to speak in public. Learn how to convey your message without standing there stiff with your hands in your pocket and being petrified because there's 50 people watching you talk, you know? Be able to speak, um, you know, just freely and from the heart because that's where your message is conveyed the best. Okay, people can tell if you're scared, people can tell if you're nervous, um, and you, you know, you don't want to trip up over your words and, and think, oh my gosh, I forgot to say that, and then have to back up and get all off track. So, you know, seek that out there. Uh, when I first started doing clinics, I used all the stuff that I learned from when I was a kid, and then I sought out knowledge. I, I studied with some great drummers, but uh, I studied with also a great public speaker who is also a great drummer and and is just amazing at what he does, and that's Don Fimulero. I went to him, I took some Skype lessons, I talked to him about some of my stuff with my clinic, and he really helped my, me get my head wrapped around it. So Dom helped me. Dom can help you. I can help you. I do Skype lessons as well. Seek out the knowledge. It is out there, okay? 
Stick to your subject matter. Know what your subject matter is in a clinic. Don't try, if you're a young drummer, I remember I used to do this, you can't teach everything that you know in one drum lesson or in one clinic. Know your subject matter, stick to it, and, and have, it, have it down pat. Then, when you, it's, doing a clinic is just like doing a gig or a performance uh, in a, you know, anywhere or in a recording session. You have to prepare for it. Now, when I prepare for my clinics, I do three things. First of all, I obviously practice the playing part a lot because I'm playing drums in a room full of drummers. I've got to be able to pull that off. Okay, you don't want to get up there and play bad. That's number one. So practice a lot. The second thing that you want to do, practice what it is that you're going to say. Practice your speaking. When I practice my speaking, what I do is I do it in front of a mirror because the mirror becomes the teacher. When I'm speaking in front of the mirror, I see, you know, if I'm stiff or if I'm not using gestures, you know, the mirror becomes the teacher. So practice in front of a mirror. Then put that all together. Practice the whole thing. Sit in a room by yourself and practice it. And, you know, run it down what it is you're going to say. And then if you have somebody in your life, you know, a loved one that might want to sit down and, and, and you can do it to them. You know, do, do your whole clinic to them. Let them watch you do it. And, and, and let them, you know, critique you at the end. Believe me, it'll be helpful. And believe me, it's more nerve-wracking to do your clinic in front of one person who you respect than it is a room full of people I've found. So anyway, those are some, some of my tips, you know. Seek out knowledge on how to uh, speak in public, you know. Practice it and be prepared. And practice it in front of some, you know, somebody that you, you appreciate their opinion and get their feedback. Listen to their feedback, right? Listen to what they have to say. Usually if they're giving you a critique, that critique is something that can and probably will help you. Last but not least, I watch a lot of videos on YouTube on, um, you know, a lot of different subject matters. But when it comes to my clinics and stuff like that, I watch videos on, on public speaking. And I've been doing it for most of my life, but I watch videos on public speaking. I watch good public speakers. I watch videos on speaking in public confidently and, uh, and maybe conveying self-confidence through body language. All of those things are so important when you speak in public. So young drummers, young musicians, if you want to do clinics, seek those, th uh, those type of things out. I promise you they'll help you. I promise you they will. And then last but not least, yeah, I said that a minute ago. Last but not least, go to clinics. Go watch other musicians do their thing. You know, if, if, there's a, if there's a musician who you respect what it is that they do, go watch them do a clinic. Learn from them. Emulate them, right? Follow in their wake to your own success. I think that that's important too. Um, so anyway, those are some of my tips on, uh, on public speaking and on clinics and... and uh, you know, putting educational forms together for, for other players. So if uh, you guys have any questions, put them below. Find me on my website. Uh, send me a message, and uh, I will be sure to answer it. And if you do have cl questions on clinics and you'd like to take a Skype lesson on just how to do clinics, seek me out. You know, I'm out there, and, uh, and I will be more than happy to answer any questions uh, that you have in great detail. So anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.